guys, TNT here, and welcome. That sounds really weird because I just changed my channel name and all. But welcome to my team of the year picks. Now today we are it's team of the year right round the corner. So I am really, really pumped for team of the year. I am I can't really buy coins or few points because they're so expensive. But I am going to be doing as best I can to try and get like one hundred k pack or something out there for you guys. I've nearly actually got it. I won't show you my club name just because I don't want anything bad happening. But this is going to be my team of the year pick. Hopefully we can pack one of these when we are opening our team of the year. And just to make it a bit more competitive, just to make it a bit more like serious. Everyone I get wrong, I'm going to have a whipped cream, a handful of whipped cream to the face. So. I don't really want to get guess any wrong. So the first player we go, we are going to be. I am playing a four three uh, two uh, four three two, two one, and the first player we are going to be adding in is of course I is of course Manuel Neuer. Now you could easily go with David De Gea here because he's had an amazing se season as well. But I thought that seeing as though De Gea's move to Real Madrid collapsed, I think that Neuer is more like and because Neuer is always such a solid keeper, I think Neuer is probably more likely to get a team of the season card than um, than De Gea, even though De Gea has been absolutely amazing this year. But did you see his double save against Chelsea? Jesus Christ, that was good. Anyway, over at right back, we are actually going to be going with a centre back because what, I mean, you could go with Danny Alves. I honestly think he does do, deserve a team of the year this one, unlike in um, FIFA, FIFA 40. But at, at, at right back even, we're going with a surprise choice in the shape of Gerard Piquet. I really do think this man is back to his best at the moment. I really do think he deserves a team of the year card because his performances for Barcelona have been really been sensational. He used to play for United, the little fact that you might not have known, but I think he will get a team of the year card. He's back to his best after a couple of years. Maybe not at his best, but like his team of the year card would be incredible. Anyway, moving on to the second. Oh my God, what? What have I done? Oh, oh, okay, I didn't delete this squad. I don't know what I did. I think I must have pressed triangle. But anyway, moving on to the um, first centre back. We are going to go with the uh, Tia. I think we're going to go with Thiago Silva here. Yeah, Thiago Silva in, is going to go in here very nicely. One of the most rock solid centre backs in the world, you could say. The highest rated one in the game. I'm using his inform here just because I can. And once again, he's just, he was in last year's team of the year and he was, he's incredibly solid as a centre back and back to his best yet again, even though he was good last year, but whatever, he's, he's I think he's been better this year because he's, he's given PSG so much, so much more. And Dav I hope David Luiz doesn't get it because David Luiz does not deserve a tot. Anyway, moving on to our third, yeah, third centre back. Now, this is quite a difficult one because I I think Ram I think Ramos might get it just because EA there hasn't been a tot with Ramos hasn't been in. And I'm not gonna put Godin in there just because the first half I mean he's had a sensational latter part of the season, but he's just he, he wasn't very good in the uh, first part. But I am gonna go with Jerome Boateng here just because this guy He's been incredible for buying. He, you could, uh, some uh, could argue, oh my God. Some could argue he is the best centre back in the world. And I'd say I have to agree with them because he has been absolutely amazing. Like he's still, he's still really young. He's oh, he was only born in 1998, 1998. I don't know, 1988, that's the one. And he, last year, I think he deserved the team of the season card, didn't team of the year card, didn't get it. But I think he could become one of the world's best centre backs, even though he just did get rinsed by Messi, which was one of the best goals of the year. Which we'll get onto Messi. We'll get onto Messi later because you can't really go a team of the year without Messi. Anyway, we're going to rock on to the left back spot with David Alaba. This guy, once again, really, really. I think he's young. Yeah, he's quite young. Four years younger than Boateng, but. He has propelled himself towards the top. I mean, you can't go wrong. He is the best fullback in the world, without a doubt. Look at all those stats, all above 70. But he could have a centre-back card because, uh, let me just show you now, his other card, no, hang on, swap. How do you do it? 
Oh my god, I don't know. He does have a centre back team in the group stage, and that's where he has been playing for Bayern. And that card would just be incredible. All with plus 10 attributes, he'd have like 93. He'd basically be Hulk Gang. He'd basically be Hulk Gang OP. But he could be a left back, but he definitely deserves it. But I think he's really established himself as the best left back in the world. Moving on to our right centre mid. I can't remember who I think. Oh, yeah, I remember. Our first centre mid is, go is going to be a Cam in the shape of Camez Rodriguez. Now, I could have gone with, like, um, Ezo here, but again, Ezo's had a very, very good latter part of the season, and not a particularly good last season. Like, I think, Iz I think, I know I'm talking about Ezo here, but I think he's one of the most underrated players that is. But we've gone with Hammers just because I think he's been, since once again, one of those players that could change a game in the blink of eye an eye. Real Madrid just... The Hammers is just a wonder kid, and if they ne ever need someone to change games, then this is the man. Like he's still, he's. I think he's younger than Al, but yeah, yeah, he is. He, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, he is. He's got sensational long shots, and he's just been such a good buy since he left Monaco. We never know why he went there. We could have signed him, but Man United and Louis Van Gaal are terrible at signing people, as we know. Moving on to our second sentiment. I can't, I've forgotten who this is. Oh yeah, it is going to be. The man, the myth, the legend, Iniesta himself. Let's go with his first informed card there. Because, to be honest, you can't really go at Tots, a team of the year, or at Tots, without this great man. The amount of... He's got just got so much respect in the game of football. Like, this, he's just an incredible player. His dribbling, his passing. You just can't go wrong with him. Like, he deserves a Tots. He's a... He's a really unfair player, and you know what? He's he's nothing like Suarez, who is an absolute dick. Anyway, move. Oh my God! I keep on doing it. Anyway, moving on to our third and final centre mid, who is actually another cam in the shape of who who was an ex Chelsea player. You could probably get already guess who it is. And we've got this guy actually got in for him in this top. Stop doing that, Henry. Jesus, this guy actually. Oh my God. Oh my god, what am I doing? Anyway, this guy actually got in form in um, this top one. Like, the top one that's just come out. He's a right mid, 89 rated. Oh, Jesus Christ, he looks insane. Um, but this guy has had an absolutely sensational season. Broke the most Bundesliga records ever. No, bro broke the most Bundesliga assists ever. Had an amazing team the season card last year. And to be honest, I will be quite outstanding how if he doesn't get into the team of the season considering that he was um 83 rated 81 rated at the start of last year and now his card is 89 rated that is just that is just insane he has been incredible for Wolfsburg and Manchester City like the, you would have never thought when he left Chelsea he would have been this guy and Chelsea must be absolutely kicking themselves for oh, I just crick my neck anyway Kevin De Bruyne, they they are my three sentiments. I honestly, I can't, I don't see where I, the only one that I'm not sure will be in the team is Hammers, and I could swap them out for like um, Fabregas or Hazard even maybe, even though Hazard hasn't a very good start to the season. That might put him off. That's why I've gone with Hammers there because he's just been an all-round great guy. No left forwards, of course. So it, left wing, I think he is. Let yep, left wing. We are go not going with Ronaldo yet. We are going to go with the boy who I packed. Neymar Jr. Now this guy, he's again, on, he's been absolutely sensational for um, he's been sensational for uh, what do you call it um, that club Barcelona. Oh my God, I couldn't think, couldn't think. Oh, it's true to say Stoke Colonna. But once again, this guy come from Santos two years ago, and he has he has just propelled himself. He has just been incredible for Barcelona. Made himself a light, made himself a bright light along many in the Spanish football. And do you know what? He is probably one of the best. He could be challenging Ronaldo for one of the best and Messi for one of the best players in the world in the future. He is also incredible. He is also very young, same age as Alaba. But he has so much potential like Alaba. And that five-star skills and five-star weak foot, he's been amazing this season. He's already got three informs and a team in the group stage. Well, no, oh, wait, yeah, three, three informs and a team in the group stage. But to be honest, I can't see how he isn't going to get one. Moving on to the right winger, and this is pretty obvious. It is going to be Lionel Messi. No, you you just can't you just, you just can't have a totty without this man. He is the best player in the world, in my opinion. Or Ronaldo, actually no, Ronaldo's the best player in the world. Sorry, but he is still 
the incredible. I think they're joined because I can't. You cannot decide between Ronaldo and Messi. Like, it's just such a hard pick. But you can't have a totty without Lionel Messi or this man, the man, the myth. Oh wait, he's, he isn't. He isn't. Never mind. He isn't a striker. But could you imagine? Could you imagine this card? A 99 rated Totti Ronaldo. Could you imagine that at striker? It would be so stupid. It be it wouldn't be allowed. Like the police would come to your house and be like, "Mate, you're not allowed this," because it is that incredible. But that is where we are going to believe it. Leave it. You can't have a Totti without Ronaldo, Messi, and Iniesta, because of course Iniesta is going to be. Get it? I'm going to look like a right mug. Remember to remind me that to do that forfeit. The amount of players I don't get will be how many, however many whipped creams to face are going to get, which isn't very good. And it's going to be like by this brother here. I will probably record them as well, put them on my Suarez. YouTube channel. Suarez, he's not in it, sorry. Sorry, he's not in it. I know, I know it's sad. I want to put Suarez in it. If there was a bench, it would probably be like Ibris. The thing is, with this year, there's been so many good players. It's so hard to choose. But that is my full Totti 11. I really do hope. What you, what you doing? What, Suarez is better than any estimate. Yeah, but he's not a midfielder. Anyway, guys, I hope you agree with my totty. And I will see you guys later. Bye!